What's up and welcome to the channel. My name is Hegshot and thank you for joining us. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Crimson Trace CWL300 EDC light. I'm going to show you a little bit of comparison. We're going to do a drop test, water test, a light test, and show you the features of this uh, awesome little concealed carry flashlight and one that I'm calling uh, one of the best budget flashlights, EDC flashlights on the market right now. I mean, this thing is just awesome. Uh, big thanks to Crimson Trace for sending this out so we could test it. And uh, I'm going to tell you everything I know about it. And I do have a link down below. So if you decide to get one of these, like I said, the price is amazing on these things. I got that link for you also to make it really easy uh, to go over there and check them out. Hopefully y'all like the new layout that we have going on here. All right, a little bit better contrast. I know some of y'all were uh, kind of concerned that you couldn't see some of the features on black guns against the black table, black mat, and all that kind of stuff. So I did get some new tech mats. Uh, these things are awesome. They really keep the stains away if you're cleaning guns. They resist that kind of stuff. They don't seep through. I, I really like these a lot. So, and big thanks to our patron of the week, Mr. David Council. He's been with us for 16 months, which is pretty awesome. Uh, if you would like to join our community over on Patreon, I have the link for that down below as well. We have a lot of things going on over there, special tiers, sign targets, all kinds of stuff that we do uh, to thank you for joining us. All right. And uh, whatever capacity you support our channel, we really appreciate it. One thing I never ask people to do and... It was kind of brought to my attention over the past couple of weeks is I never ask people to subscribe because I feel like if you want to subscribe, then you will. Um, but, you know, it, it, it kind of doesn't work like that. I mean, some people you need to ask to subscribe sometimes. So I'm going to ask you to subscribe. I know I never do this, but there's a button that I'm going to put somewhere on the screen in one of these directions. Uh help us help us to reach 100,000 subscribers which is crazy to even that it's even coming out of my mouth 100,000 but we are very close so if you would like to help us reach that goal hit that little red button and we appreciate everything that you do so let's go ahead and open this up uh nice box of course crimson trace we all make we all know they make good stuff uh let's take a look what we have now <clears throat> crimson trace sent us more than just this light I got some of the uh, packages mixed up, so you you're probably going to get a booklet and other things. But this is not too uh, not too complicated, not too hard to figure out. So, uh, free batteries for life. This is a Crimson Trace program. I believe they do one a year. Um, yeah, one a year. Uh, average customer saves fifty bucks. So it's it's a nice gesture. That's pretty good. Um, I don't think it's too hard to submit for that Crimson Trace uh, sticker and then a uh, warranty card. As far as I know, it's a one-year warranty. At least that's what's stated on the box. And then flip it around to this side. Of course, it's going to come with a battery, and it's going to come with a light. Don't expect a brand-new-looking light here, okay? I have been carrying this for uh, every bit of a month and a half, two months now. Not only to how does it work in my kind of situations at work when I need a light, but, uh, but how is the weight? How is it pulling it in and out of my pocket and things like that? So... What I do is I carry mine right next to my knife, so it is constantly rubbing up against my knife, and that's why it's uh, so scratched up, but it's a good representation of what uh, what yours may look like if you carry it in that similar fashion. Of course, if you carry it in a separate holster on its own, then you're not going to have all the scratches and stuff like that. Um, over time, I, I don't mind it looking like that, to be honest with you, but I know some people are kind of kind of picky about that. So you can see the overall construction. Let's start up here. You have this crenulated head up top and one thing that's nice is you know some of these tactical type flashlights are just way too aggressive so i feel like you know ones that are more aggressive than this you put them in your pocket it's going to tear your pockets up and, and things like that these edges are really nice and rounded off it of course protects your uh, led lens in there but it also has a nice feature that you could use, possibly maybe in self-defense or whatever. But I see this more as a protector of the LED itself. But it's nice that they rounded those edges off. You have three nice uh, edges. You know, whenever you put it in and out of your pocket, it's not going to tear your pockets up. Of course, you have an anodized uh, aerospace aluminum body. A uh, very lightweight type material. We did do some drop testing too that I'll show you here in a minute. Uh, you have a dual uh, function clip, which I really enjoy this. So you have your main clip right here. Uh, you can see your spring. All right. Very stiff spring there. But you also have a reverse clip here. 
And what I like to use this for is I like to put, if I, if I need to use both my hands for something, I'll just pull that clip up. Again, this one is kind of stiff, all right, but it's gonna stay in place whenever you get it on your hat or anything else. I kind of show my hat right here. So I'll just pull this up. Kind of weird to do it with the hat not on my head, but, and I'll just put it on the edge of my hat like that. And it's really handy if, like I said, I need to use both of my hands or whatever. So I do like that they do the uh, the reverse uh, multi-function clip, whatever they call it. That is a really nice feature. Very simple, all right? Lightweight, simple. And uh, for everyday carry, that's what you want. You, you want this stuff to be as light, durable, and uh, good as possible. So, so coming to the other side over here, you have a single button. All right, very simple. Momentary on or off. Or constant on or off. So the runtime on this one, it's max 200 lumens on high. And then it's 50 lumens on low. I'm, I'm going to show you this outside because it's going to be much better uh, for you to get an idea of what those differences look like. And 200 lumens in today's age doesn't sound like a lot. But when you're up close to 200 lumens, it, just doing like this against your hand, that's bright. All right. And for the kinds of things that I do uh, on an everyday basis, that is plenty good enough. Uh, now, if you're coming in from shore on a fishing trip and it's night and you're trying to lead your boat back through, you know, the, to, to, to get to the landing, this is not the ideal light for you. Okay. Uh, you know, that is not what this light is for, but if you have a job where, you know, you're in dark places, you're a mechanic or you're doing, a uh, any kind of indoor drills and you want to make sure that you, or maybe you have want a light for, you know, you don't have a rail on your uh, handgun and you want to make sure that you have a light so you can identify threats inside of your home, that kind of thing. This light is going to be ideal for you. It's small, it's light. Uh, it's got some good features and it's simple. All right. There's not a lot of buttons. There's one and you have high and low. That's it constant and of course momentary okay very simple uh, very sleek design overall it, it, at 200 lumens you're going to be have a runtime of two hours at 50 lumens you're going to have eight hours so it's got a it's got a good runtime and uh again you get batteries for life so that's pretty cool or at least one one a year um every year so that's that's pretty neat and it seems to have a really good life so i think i I believe this is the original battery. I just changed this battery to show you what a uh, battery that I've been using for a while looks like compared to a brand new battery. And you can see uh, from the video that I'm showing you that the battery I've been using for a while still has plenty of juice in it. Uh, if you think about two hours, that doesn't sound like a lot of time, but just you know, momentarily turning this thing on every once in a while, seeing what you need to see and then turning it off. Two hours is a very long time when you, when you think about it like that. So what I'm showing you right now is I want to show you the, uh, I want to show you the water test, but I'm going to show you the drop test here really quick. I just did it from a standard height on a hardwood floor in case something like that happens. Did it three times and no issues. I kept the light on, you know, that's, that's what this thing is built for those kinds of things. CR123A battery. All right. So, you know, these things are, are awesome and you can buy them online very cheap. I'll put a link to where you can actually, cause I was buying these things at local like Lowe's and all that kind of stuff for the longest time. And I had a buddy of mine say, man, why don't you buy those things online? You can get them so much cheaper. So I will leave a link to some batteries, some CR123 uh, batteries. So you can uh, save yourself some money on those as well. But again, very simple, drop it in and screw it on all right very simple construction one thing i did notice is that this particular tail cap kind of squeaks a little bit if that bothers you i don't take it off a lot obviously so that doesn't really bother me but i just wanted to point that out let's drop this thing let's say you're you got clumsy one day and you happen to drop it in some water i'm going to move it to this mat really quick and you dropped it in water uh oh, it took you a while. You still haven't gotten the light out of the water. It's still sitting in the water. That's what this is made for. Up to a meter is the depth that this is uh, going to be water uh, resistant for you. Okay, not completely waterproof, but they do have water seals in there. So you can't keep it in water forever and expect it to work. But this kind of situation, you dropped it. Uh oh, you pick it up, dry it out. Boom, you're good to go. All right, so we still have it in there. If you're super clumsy, 
then it's still in there or maybe you just broke your leg or whatever you can't get to your light right now it's still in there but it's still working and that's a good thing let's pull it out here really quick all right still works momentary works everything works okay so that's a nice feature that's kind of something you expect from modern flashlights anyways you expect them to at least be water resistant if not waterproof Here's one of the features of the tech map, by the way. See how it beads the water up? So if you have gun oil or anything like that, that's why I love having those things. So just to give you an idea, that seal did its job. It kept the water out of the tail cap there or out of the battery compartment. I think I dropped a little bit on there whenever I pulled this off, but that's the idea. Keeping the water out so your light does not get damaged now one nice thing about this is these things are less than 50 bucks okay like i said i got a link to them in the description for y'all and uh the price on these is right and that's a good thing because for this kind of light i mean you know it, it has it has a lot of uses but you know it, it does not need to be more than 50 bucks you know that's just what it is let me show you a comparison this is a Streamlight 1l one uh, AA, all right, very popular EDC light. And size comparison, you can see the Crimson Trace is much shorter. Now the Streamlight's 350 lumens, this one's 200. We're gonna be doing a review on this one very soon, I can assure you, but there's your size difference right there. All right, so if, you, if you're somebody that wants maybe a little bit shorter light, something that's a little bit easier to carry, maybe you know, you're a lady and you wanna carry it in a purse, but this might be a little too big or you're carrying it in your pocket or whatever the case may be, um, the Crimson Trace might be a good option for you because it is quite a bit shorter um, in the body. As far as circumference, they're, they're just about the same though. So we did the drop test, we did the water test, we did the light test to see what that throw looks like. Very clean beam, I like the way that it, it it illuminates what it needs to, but it doesn't shine everywhere else. It's got a really nice throw on it. And Crimson Trace is trusted. Uh, they make good products. And uh, and I really like this one. I, like I said, I've been carrying it every day for the past month and a half, two months. And uh, I have really enjoyed having this light. It's quite a bit bigger than the Streamlight little uh, pencil style light that we did. But it's got plenty of lumens. And if you're in a dark enough area or if you're in a dark room, this is going to give you some good light. Even up close, you can do it at 50 lumens, and it's not gonna, it's not gonna, you know, blind you and reflect the light off of your skin or any kind of metal surface that you're looking at, because that's mainly what I use it on whenever I'm inside at my regular job. You know, I, there's a lot of dark areas and you know, looking at cars and things like that where I need to use a light. This is a good one to have around. So. I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, if you want to, like I said, I got a link down below. You can go over and check these out. Uh, if you have a Crimson Trace flashlight that you're carrying, let us know what you think about it down in the comments below. We will see y'all in the next one. And as always, holding down.